NASA and SpaceX are preparing as we speak for this weekend's astronaut launch. It's at Florida's Cape Canaveral. And we have just learned in the last half hour that tomorrow's launch, scheduled, has now been pushed back. They're expecting poor weather conditions at the time of launch. The uh, launch now moved to Sunday night where they will try. This is going to be, though, the first fully operational mission for the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Four astronauts will be on board. They will spend six months on the International Space Station. Earlier today, our Ken Molestina had the opportunity to interview one of the key astronauts who explains why the mission is so significant. This is all new at 5 o'clock. This weekend's planned SpaceX Crew-1 launch will have the world and especially proud Americans looking on as the future of private and government-funded space travel is here. Finally, um, we are going to take a full complement of astronauts up to the space station on a United States vehicle. We haven't done that since uh, the shuttle program several years ago. Doug Hurley is a NASA astronaut and was one of two space explorers who just returned from a test flight prior to tomorrow's launch. Aboard the American-built SpaceX Dragon will be NASA astronauts Shannon Walker, Victor Glover, Mike Hopkins, and Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi. This flight uh, is intended to be the first operational flight, which means a full duration expedition uh, to the uh, International Space Station, as I said, around six months. Once aboard the space station, the astronauts will be welcomed by three others already there for a total of seven space explorers. Their days are highly choreographed, including daily exercise regiments and lots of practical hands-on work. With this mission, the world also gets one step closer to commercial space travel. What we're seeing is an access to space that is going to become greater and greater and greater. Uh, and in the end, that can only make things better for us on the planet as well as in space. But I have always wanted to know, what is the view like from up there? It is uh, almost indescribable. I think, you know, when you look out the window, certainly I remember vividly my first time, you know, you're just completely amazed at the, the vivid colors, the blackness of space, the blue and greens of the ocean, the distinction of the different land masses. Um, and, and then the, the stark reality that that is our planet. And again, folks, just a reminder, the launch again has been reset for Sunday at 627 p.m. It can be watched through NASA's website, which we have linked to this story. All you have to do is click on CBSDFW.com. Doug, this is some exciting stuff.